This is my daughter. You were sleeping, many of you. So I didn't say anything. Madaba is an old city from the uh, beginning or early Bronze Ages, end of the 4th millennium BC, beginning of the 4th millennium BC. But Madaba in the Iron Ages used to be called Madaba. Madaba. M E D E B A. It's an old Aramaic word, means the calmly moving water. Until this day, still got the same name, Madam. We call it Madam. As we say many times, Moses entered Jordan from the south, he entered in the Mayan kingdom, Moabai. When he, when they, when the Israelites reached here, Madaba was part of the Amorite kingdom because the Amorites were occupying Madaba. He had a war with them and he destroyed the Amorite kingdom and took their cities. Madaba was one of them. He gave the plateau of Madaba, he assigned the plateau of Madaba to the tribe of Ruben. Then it was controlled by the Arab Nebatians of Petra. Then the Romans. According, no, not according, but it's very clear that from the uh, number of churches they found from the Byzantine era, Byzantine era, that Madaba in the Byzantine era, you know what Byzantine is? <coughs> Christian Romans. Yes. Was a big Christian community. They found more than 30 churches. churches. And they believe there is more than 130. It was the golden age of Madaba. In the Byzantine era, Madaba. Uh, was the seat of the bishop with its own bishop. Mm -hmm. He was, uh, he attended uh, the council of Chalcedon. Chalcedon is a city in Turkey now. This is in 451. It was uh, a big Christian community in the 8th century AD, a very violent earthquake destroyed Madaba. So the people of Madaba left Madaba and they went to Kerk, the Jordanian city, to the south, 130 kilometers to the south of Madaba. And Madaba remained neglected until the 19th century, three Christian clans came to Madaba and they wanted, wanted to settle here. They wanted to build a new church. When they started digging, they found a magnificent mosaic floor. Mm -hmm. This mosaic floor is the oldest mosaic map of the Holy Land. Jordan, Jerusalem. Holy Land, Palestine, Jordan, Syria, and parts of Lebanon, mm. Egypt. The original size of the map was 90 square meters. Now it's around 50. This mosaic map, I think, or they think, that was supposed to be an index of the Exodus way, from Egypt all the way to the promised land.
they assume that this map, the walk, took more than 558 days based on 10 hours <coughs> working hours and three artists were working they used more than 1.2 million of colored stones this map the date this map goes back to the middle of the set century AD between 200, 526 to 565 it's the period or the time of Justinian but for sure it was built after the year 542 because of the, uh, the church of uh, Mother of God Church in Palestine, in Jerusalem, which was built in 542, and it's represented in the, on the church, uh, on the map here. So we can assume it was built between 542 and 565. So, this was meant to be what? I just said that two minutes ago. To show the exodus from Egypt to Palestine. Exactly. Palestine. They started from Egypt and they ended here. When they started the exodus, by the way, maybe you noticed that this is not north. Pardon? This is not, the map is upside down. Mm. This should be coming from here, Jordan River. Oh, yeah, <laughs> something north. Right? Yeah. So, this is north, mm. this is south, south. south. and east, east, east and west. west. So, the, the map is upside down because this is a, this is a copy. Mm -hmm. When you go outside, you will see the original. They started from here. They went to Sinai Mountain. Mm. This is the place where Moses received the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. Then they crossed uh, Red Sea. Mm. Yeah. Arrest. <laughs> they entered the Edomite uh, Kingdom mm. land, mm. but they refused to allow them to enter. They went all the way around. These are, this is a valley and this is another valley, natural border between the three kingdoms, mm -hmm. Edom, Moab and Amun. So they entered the Moabite kingdom, here also they refused to allow them to enter because they were too many. Mm -hmm. So they went all the way around until they reached the Ammonites. Amen. Madaba, if you look here, this is Amun, this is Moab. Madaba was a border city. Mm. When they reached here, it was part of Moab. Here the Israelites had a war with the Amorites and they destroyed the Amorites kingdom. Then Joshua took the leadership. They continued, they crossed Jordan River to Jericho. This was the first city for the Israelites in the promised land after they crossed Jordan River. From here, they took the rest of the lands. You see here, this took a big part of the map. What is it? The Red Sea. Or the Sea of Lot. Right? Or the Salty. Uh, sea. But actually, the Dead Sea is not a sea. Yeah. It's a lake. It's a big lake. And this is Jordan River. You can see 
two boats. Hmm. No, two men here and one. Two men. Yes. No facial features here. Yes. See? This happened also during the icon class war. We talked about the icon class or the icon class. Where Leo the Third decided to destroy all of the icons in the churches. And white pipe, brown pipe. What is it? White, white pipe, brown pipe. Indication to commerce. Exporting salt, importing wheat. But you tell me, by looking at the boats here. You can tell that the men here were Jewish or Christians. How can you tell? Because the no features. Yeah, the and the yeah. snake. snake. Yeah. yeah. Mm. The cross and, and the snake. snake. Yeah. Christians or Jewish, most likely. Wow. Christians, because yes. this is not a slab only, this is a cross. Mm. And who asked me about this snake in, uh, when we start um, at the souvenir shop? It's the same story. That's why it in the wilderness. See this? Mm. Fish? Yeah. Going in. This fish is running out because of the high salinity of the, water. Of the Dead Sea. The water here, uh, the salinity here, eight times higher than any other sea. 